Hello, I am GNR Francis and today I'm going to show you how to install the Ether mod for Minecraft. Uh, this is going to be showing you how to install the 1.9 pre-release and this is for Minecraft 1.2.5. So first off, what I'm going to go through is just a few bits that you need to bear in mind. Uh, you need to start off with a fresh copy of Minecraft, uh, so make sure, I can't emphasize this enough, back up everything that you've got, So, because if you delete your Minecraft folder you're gonna lose everything so back up your saves back up your screenshots all of that make sure it's saved and then start afresh okay so to start afresh all you need to do is you need to go to your app data so this is um, I use Windows so we're gonna go percentage app data a double -P, P D A T A percentage sign again and then into roaming so you got app data roaming and then just delete your dot minecraft folder there I've already done it so I'm not going to do it now but then when you open up minecraft again it will re-download a fresh version for you so you've got everything backed up you've got a new version of minecraft and you're ready to go so what we need to do is you need to get hold of these three zip files here so what I'm going to do is show you how to get hold of those now I will put the links to all three of these are uh, in the description so you can find those nice and easily the first one will go to a paste an Ubuntu paste bin uh, and this is where you will find the main files for ether so I'll put this link in the description, scroll down here, download link, there you go. Click on that as an ad fly and just download that and that will get you your first zip folder. The second one is for Minecraft Forge, which is a uh, kind of mod that will enable a lot of stuff to work. And I'll also post this link in the description. This is for build 152, which is the recommended one. Uh, and to get this uh, to get these files once you've got this here you need to go down to build artifacts and then you want to select Minecraft Forge client you don't want the server or SRC you want client so click on that and that will take you to a download file uh, here is for the player API this is the third thing that you need I'll again also post this link in the description so this will go to a Minecraft forum page just go down to client 1.5 you need you don't want server bucket or render you want client and 1.5 is the latest so just click to download from Mediafire or Dropbox and there you go you will get your three zip files here Aether 1.9 Minecraft Forge and player API so just unzip those and you'll get three individual folders here with the files you need and then we can continue with installation so first off we need to install the dependencies which are the Minecraft Forge and the Player API. So those two are what we need to install first, these two folders here. So what we need to do for that is first we need to delete our meta-inf folder. So I've got a app data shortcut here. Um, just saves me from having to type in the percentage stuff. So this takes me directly here. So if I go roaming, Minecraft, uh, before you do any of this by the way if you want to use any high definition textures you need to use a Minecraft patcher before you start any of this installation um, I'm not going to show you how to do that because there's plenty of tutorials on the internet on how to do it but that is before this stage so let's crack on uh, we want to go into our bin folder and then we've got our, our Minecraft jar file here executive build jar file so you want to open that with a Ew, not share with, open with, here we go, open with a archiver of sorts, so WinRAR or 7-zip or something like that. Now as always with any mod you need to make sure you delete the meta int folder so just select that and delete and away that goes. There we go, so you're all prepped ready to start installing these two dependencies now. So what we want to do is if we open up Minecraft Forge first what we want to do is with this folder that we've unzipped uh, all we've got in here is a series of folders and class files and bits and bobs like that so control A to select the lot uh, control C I'm going to use to copy and then just paste the whole lot over into your minecraft.jar so that will uh, do its thing, there's quite a few files there so it may take a moment there we go so that's that bit done now before you close that uh, that's your forge done uh, you want to open up your player API now 
stay in here because we're going to do exactly the same thing with this although this time we only want the class files so we've got five class files in here just copy those and paste them over into your minecraft.jar as well now I always recommend copy and pasting because if your installation goes wrong if you've just dragged them over then you'll have to re-download everything again um, so just copy and paste and then you've still got the original files ready if you need to do a reinstall later on so that's your dependencies done we can actually get on now to installing the actual mod itself so here we go on to the final bit of this so if we go back into our roaming folder and uh, minecraft bin and we open up our minecraft.jar again uh, with winrar so same thing as before when that wants to open there we go what we need to do is we need to go into our Aether folder for the download so here we got Aether 1.9 pre-release we need to go here to our jar folder that's inside so everything that's inside here uh, you need to copy and paste into the minecraft.jar so here again we've got loads of class files and another couple of folders as well so again copy all of that same as what you did before just now and paste all of those you see some of all the nice things that we got adding to the game here there we go so that's that bit done when we have done that we then need to go into our minecraft our dot minecraft folder again and we need to go to resources okay and if we open up our resources folder that was in the Aether 1.9 pre-release folder take the folder named mod copy paste now in here you've already got a folder named mod so what we're going to do is we're going to merge the two folders together because it won't let you put two folders in there with the same name so merge the two together and that will basically add all the files from our mod into the one that already exists so there we go that should be everything installed now to give it a try and here we have it this is the the mod installed I've just opened it up I've, you can switch between normal and Aether theme and all of this so this is a good sign to know that it started working so if you go and install your not install you've installed it already my god um, go ahead and create a single player world so you can test that it's working uh, all you've got to do is just start off by creating yourself a portal out of glowstone clicking it with a bucket of water and then stand in it like you would with a normal nether portal give it a second and then there we go ascending into the nether and there we have it so there's the mod nicely installed ready to use and working so thanks for watching and if you have any problems I'll try and answer them but your best bet is usually to go to the troubleshooting section and there's also a, a troubleshooting section in in with the installation files so you can kind of get a good idea if you've done something wrong so check there first um, if you like this let me know and if there's any other mods that you need help on installing also please let me know and I'll see if I can get around to making videos of those as well thanks very much